We're going to get ready to step into the blue side this morning. That is the name of my next guest this morning's first solo album. Erickson Holt, he is an exceptional vocalist and songwriter. His resume includes recordings, international tours, and television appearances. Erickson, it is a pleasure to have you here with me today. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Jenna. All right, Erickson, you have lived all over Virginia, the Carolinas, Nashville. How did we get fortunate enough to have you right here in Key West? Uh, just, just good people. You know, uh, I was playing at a show the other night and talking about comparing Key West to, to New Orleans, which is another town I'm kind of obsessed with and love. And, uh, and uh, it's just more good people per square mile here. And, uh, and that's really the, the difference. I mean, I love the water. And there's a lot of, I think, uh, a lot of people forget that QS is out in the middle of the water. They come down here and they're just old town centric and that's it. And if you get out on the water enough, you get a better, a bigger sense of where you are. And, and I love it. I think it's a kind of a magical place. Great. So when you're not yeah. playing gigs, then you yeah. are out on the water. Yeah, well, a lot of my gigs are on the water. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I played for Fury. I do the commotions on the ocean. And, uh, that's probably my primary gig down here that I play the most often. And that's just a concert two hours straight through on the water, you know, idyllic sunsets, and it's just beautiful. It's a great, not, not a bad. I complain to the union about the work conditions. They never do anything about it. So it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> not a bad gig yeah. at all. <laughs> not a that bad you gig. Yeah. All right, Erickson, have you always been doing music? Yeah, I, 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 for better or for worse, I, I toyed around with the idea of, of maybe trying to go to law school or something, do something conventional, uh, just to, to, if nothing else, for the mental exercise of it to, to achieve something. But, uh, but I was always been obsessed with music. My mother is a writer, and uh, she was a songwriter, and, and now she's a novelist, but A.H. Uh, Holt. But uh, Dr. A. H. Holt. <laughs> she got her doctorate in her 60s. Uh, Good for her. Yeah, she's a late bloomer. But, uh, but she bought a piano when I was nine for herself, and I just took to it, mm -hmm. you know, like a fish to water and started playing, and, and then she got me lessons, and I started playing classical and quit for a number of years. I thought I'd be a football player, and I, <laughs> you know, <laughs> tapped out on the size thing and, uh, and decided that wasn't for me and went back to playing and started playing blues and rock, and, and, and uh, later folk music got involved with uh, Backing up at first, and singing harmonies and playing harmonica and, and piano with, with folk singers, basically songwriters in, in Virginia and uh, coffee houses and things like that. Kind of graduated to, to concert level stuff in that area, playing with a band called the Blue Beats uh, and my band, the Lonely Guys, and uh, later Big City. And these are these are all good regional bands. And, uh, and then uh, as I started writing, I got uh, a buddy of mine, Mike McAdam. Who, I have a band with now called the Holt McAdam Band. We'll be at the Hog's Breath uh, Christmas okay. week, 20, 23rd through the 29th, I guess it is. And, uh, <clears throat> and he, he's a great guitar player. He played, played with Steve Earle on Copperhead Road and a bunch of stuff. And he convinced me, he along with uh, actually Bruce Hornsby convinced me to, to move to Nashville, mm -hmm. to go to a town where you know, I wouldn't be the big fish in the little pond. I, mm -hmm. I would, Pretty much got my nose rubbed in it for a while, and, that, and that's mm -hmm. what Hornsby was. You know, he used a basketball analogy. He said, "You know, I got to play with the big guys and really learn how to how to you know grow." Mm -hmm. and, uh, so Nashville was good for me. Yeah, and, it uh, it kind of helped your career, didn't it? Nashville? It did. It helped me learn a lot. Made me a better musician. Think a better person. You you have to be prepared. You have to be disciplined. Uh, I got into a situation where I was playing with a lot of different people and, and, and had to keep file, their music in files and learn how to, to really write cogent charts and, uh, because you can't remember all that. You can't remember a thousand songs by different people if you aren't singing them every night. I mean, I sing hundreds of songs myself, but I'm singing them and they become a part of you. But, uh, but that became my thing. I'd get a plane ticket and a, and a couple of CDs and show up and do a concert with somebody. And mm -hmm. it, was, it, was, it, was, it was fun, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's fun and interesting and challenging. Uh, got to play with a lot of artists. Uh, uh, played with my first big gig was with Laurie White. Mm -hmm. uh, she was on RCA at the time, and, and one of my heroes, Rodney Crowell, had produced a record, and they needed somebody who could play gospely kind of Bill Payne a la Little Feet piano, and that was mm -hmm. right down my alley. So mm -hmm. I got that job, and it led to the next job, and next Steve job. Warner, and mm -hmm. they're amazing rhythm aces, and uh, the Mavericks, which I'm real proud of. They're actually a 
Florida band, mm -hmm. Miami band. And I played with them and that took me around the world and took me from, you know, never having gone to England to landing in, in, the, in London and going right on a national radio show and then that night playing Royal Albert Hall. I mean, it just, my, my life changed completely. So. Wow. So you've been very fortunate to play yeah. with some amazing people and also yeah. play at some amazing places. Yeah. Erickson, I have to mention a book that you were recently in. Yes, please do. It was created by photographer Ralph De Palma. He came on the show and talked about his book. Yeah, so I want to grab it real quick. And yeah. Erickson, I liked it, right? Your page, the first thing yeah. that stuck out to me was it says, I'm Erickson Holt, and my mama loves me. <laughs> That's very cute, Erickson. <laughs> Ralph, heard, Ralph heard me say that on the boat one night. He came out and took a bunch of these pictures. and uh, mm -hmm. I love my mother. I mean, my, she's, she's a great lady, and, and I wouldn't have, obviously wouldn't be here without her, and, and I wouldn't have my career without her. Mm -hmm. She'd been very supportive, and, uh, as was my grandmother and my grandfather. And, uh, right. and the photos yeah. that Ralph took of you, yeah. you can tell Erickson, you are at peace with what you're doing. You know, you're playing, yeah. you're playing your music and you just yeah. seem happy. And I want to mention before we go this morning, I have a photo uh -huh. behind us that our viewer ca viewers yeah. can see of you with your son. Yeah. Does he like music too? He's a little drummer. Uh -huh. He's a little older than that picture now. I'm going <laughs> to look at the picture for a second. What a beauty. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's uh, that was playing at his school. I went in and you know Father Day and then played a few songs for him. Uh, yeah, he's a good boy. He's with me. He's mm -hmm. with me here and uh, he's going to Key West High. Great. He's a good, good kid. Good yeah. deal. Now, Erickson, you mentioned that you'll be playing at Hog's Breath around Christmas time. Yep. Do you have time. some other upcoming dates? Uh, well, I'm, tomorrow night, I don't know if this airs in time, tomorrow night I'm at Island Dogs. I do once a month with Larry Beta there for their Blues series. Uh, I, we have not nailed down the dates yet. I'll probably be at the 90 Mile Club for some dates this month. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and then other than that, I do the, the sun, Puri Sunset Cruises. I do every Monday uh, night, and they, they say all, it changes with the sunset, mm -hmm. 5 to 7 this time of year. And, uh, and I'll do various ones throughout the week according to the ticket sales. So. Great. And, of course, if people are interested in Erickson, you can contact him by yes. emailing the info that you see at the bottom of the screen. Also, check out his website. Let's Erickson, see. it's been a pleasure having Thank you, you so on. Thank you so much for having you. me. Thank you. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.